the EU, the Canada mission in Nigeria, the UK and the US, they all come together. They met with the foreign minister and they still came out to say, look, we still stand on the fact that it, it might be an undemocratic uh, move by the government of the day to suspend Twitter. And in fact, the, the, the regulator of broadcasting in, uh, in Nigeria is asking television stations to deactivate their Twitter handles. What's your, uh, in just 30 seconds, what's your reaction to that? Uh, well, I think um, that decision was taken in haste because uh, it shows that we still don't understand the youth population of this country, the youths, because that's their language. That's where they communicate, and that's where they do their business. And if we don't understand it, you know, then we'll make a mistake. So, in fact, uh, maybe just before I enter the studio, I've seen uh, where they said that the government is going to uh, lift the ban on Twitter, but uh, Twitter must act responsibly. All right. Uh, Senator, we're out of time. We just have 15, but I'll allow you uh, to just uh, make a statement on that. Uh, what's your take on uh, NBC saying television station to deactivate their Twitter handles? Just in 20 seconds, please. Well, uh, well I agree with the last speaker that the, that decision was uh, taken a haste. And, of course, you know that we have a very large youth population and uh, they are uh, feeling very, very frustrated about this uh, decision. But I'm happy also that uh, I've also heard the fact that the government and the, uh, and the organizations are working together to resolve this lockdown. We can't afford not to have Twitter or right. any other uh, social platforms such as Twitter in this country. So we Senator have to work together.